via print media it is very 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 important uh, dr so, prashant uh, sorry to interrupt is there any fan on at your side some no, no. noise is coming cut 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 noise is coming and just i close the can we start now yeah please proceed yeah so the time is very less and the topic the topic is very fast so i will take it with uh, hurriedly if you have any uh, questions please uh, ask we will have a discussion at the end right so the first important is capital expenditure uh financial management animal health ayurveda homeopathy feed management laboratory testing dairy farm now first we talk about capital expenditure lot of dairy farms are there in india which are in loss due to uh, miscalculation of capital expenditure and what is the capital expenditure required so working capital and capital expenditure are to be taken care of separately there is a high line of demarcation between these two words when you are talking about profit then capex and working capital both are to be taken uh, uh, studied differently right so now what are do's and don'ts for a profitable dairy farm so take proper training before starting the work have a proper mentor have a knowledgeable advisor there are nine reasons for dairy farm failure of dairy farm so study these nine reasons and approach towards cow farming as an industry emotion go mata go chala go seva go bhakti will not save this industry right now there are project reports if you are working for a uh, uh, project report then it should uh, be a uh, bankable right I, i accept it that it should be bankable but also study the non bankable project report what are the failures of the project so non bankable what i have introduced first time in india to uh, please i request all the dairy farms to prepare their own non bankable project report now we are talking to the most important part that is financial management so work on capital expenditure what are the shed and construction costs what are the cow purchasing costs what are the problems and solutions now very people few people in last 32 years i have seen they work for working capital it is a fire fighting approach and then become uh, to a bottleneck condition so free salary accident of the cow insurance of the cow is insurance of the labor very 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 important and monthly online audit it's very important unless any industry survives if it faced audit so this is a cow industry dairy farming is a industry and it should be audited properly biological auditing now think of non recurring budget that is said 1.5 lakhs of uh, rupees are required for um, 20 cow shed and don't spend more than that i have seen 16 lakhs of rupees shed uh, spent on only shed and so the cow purchasing is a gambling don't do the gambling while uh, uh, constructing a shed then uh, don't spend a huge amount on shed i have seen lakhs of shed Who have, who have spent a high level of uh, capital expenditure so please take care of now about the your strength weakness and opportunities threats so how much land is available how much water is required how much fodder is required what are the cows capacity what is your storage capacity and what are the logistic problems during construction of the farm it will directly affect your profitability now working capital in case of working capital uh uh the most expensive part in dairy farming is the uh, green fodder dry fodder cattle feed the cakes so you have to take uh, proper market study of all the raw materials and what are the fluctuations in the raw material supply right so please be careful about the recurring uh, expenses on the working capital what are the problems the first problems are take a proper training on online training then on job training then do proper case study have monthly audit and quarterly half yearly corporate strike audits the main problems in dairy farming are that techno commercial management of the farming should be done 
it may be indian cow it may be hf cow it may be jersey cow it may be buffalo cow now we will uh, i will talk in future uh, in, in shortly how to increase 20 to 60% milk in your existing farm right then control the production cost of milk and the milk product what are performance link incentive the any industry gives performance link incentive to the labor i have started this performance link incentive to labor at uh, peni in tamil nadu uh, two years ago right yes you need a good partner you need a good knowledge partner with you that is agriculture industry survey they have given my interview in 2019 in their magazine again in 2021 march they have given so you should have a good uh, knowledge partner with you and that is agriculture industry survey online training on job training these are all available as per your time uh, paid training unpaid training youtube whatsapp telegram these are all only information don't get too much involved in that i have seen one farm in hyderabad 5 crores of rupees investment by only uh, google study and it went all in vain it went in loss i am not demoralizing you i am not discouraging you but take practical training from some efficient person right now how the industry runs industry runs on nine concepts what are these nine concepts which are to be used for a profitable dairy farm one is budgeting prepare your yearly budget half yearly budget monthly budget and daily budget second is accounting i have seen one farm in rajasthan daily accounting was uh, done of that farm uh, that gochala ivan gochala and every day the uh, owner was getting the profit loss statement like structure now costing what was what is our costing in last month what is our costing in next month so we are you are getting a particular parameter about costing at each month end. and so you can have a vision of your profit loss next month now auditing every industry gives uh, it is uh, statutory to do the auditing so uh, dairy farming should be done biological auditing financial auditing is required at the month uh, market but i stress that you focus please on biological auditing which we are doing from last 32 years now productivity everybody is behind the milk milk and milk products everybody everyone wants more money so for that need and greed if we want we are increasing the productivity of the crop if the productivity increases volume increases then your profitability increases now about production uh in western countries there are 10000 cow farms 20000 cow farms 35000 cow farms under all adverse conditions but in uh, in a structure like india there are lot of uh, climatic changes political changes geographical changes demographical changes or such a poor conditions you have to do the production but then understand how to increase the production of your uh, livestock second is processing only milk business. don't think only milk and milk and milk you have to think other income from uh, cow tourism eco tourism uh, this uh, uh, and uh, cow dung and cow urine uh, uh, processing then what is important is market you should be very aggressive in digital marketing uh, there are pinterest and twitter and whatsapp and telegram and gmail and celebrities and eco eco tourism and full trips and we are we are kind of in full trips to develop the gen- next generation but we are uh, charging that so full uh, trip to your farm is a good uh, uh, measure to increase your profits in your existing farm now many people ask me what is investment to return ratio but i first ask them what is your uh, project report on the paper so you should have a return excel sheet activity wise schedule on your paper on your table 12 weeks before arrival of the cow and 12 months after arrival of the cow everything should be on paper don't be hasty that you have money and you are starting a dairy farm don't make that hurry because 40% farms in india are in losses only due to this hurry either you are sanctioned a bank project or you are having money so for please i request you don't start dairy farm in that emotion be a profession convert your passion into profession now what are the effect you there are lot of frequency of questions but uh, there are lot of questions but uh, due to time i cannot answer uh, everything is given on our website 
I have prepared one uh, mobile app also, and uh, you can uh, download that app and convert our 32 years knowledge to increase your business. What are the six factors to increase your uh, increase the milk of your existing cow? One is vaccination, second is food screening, third is dewarming, fourth is environment. You are having mobile in your uh, hand. So the midnight temperature at 2 o'clock and afternoon temperature at 2 o'clock. What is the difference between these two temperatures? If you are efficient in handling the mobile in your hand for the cow management, the livestock management purpose, you will increase 100 liters of milk per year from per cow. This is my 32 years experience. So these six factors, these six factors will help you to increase 200 liters of milk minimum in Bangalore or in Delhi, Noida sector, in IT sector or Ahmedabad, Rajkot or Pune, the milk is not less than 80 rupees liter. So 80 rupees liter into 200. From today's lecture, you are getting 16,000 rupees additional income due to this uh, lecture arranged by agriculturalinformation.com. So be assured, be assured, if you are efficient in uh, cow management in your dairy farming, then you will get this extra income due to the, uh, when your concepts of profitable management are clear due to this lecture. Now, if you are having a cow farm, a buffalo farm, a Indian cow farm or a gochala, then particularly you should have a calendar, just like our academic calendar, our uh, year calendar, you should have a calendar of management. So first is important is hoof training. Uh, it is not very common in India, but uh, in 1997, I, in Israel, I have seen hoof trimming is very compulsory and common in their countries. That reduces the uh, discomfort to the animal and it also increases 50 liters of milk per cow per year. Secondly, Azola. Azola is a very good source, so I, I will talk in future, but Azola is a, uh, we have to start using Azola. Now, every business is counted, then body weight of the cow should be counted and uh, the weight of dry and green grasses should be counted, otherwise you will be in losses. To increase your profits, please count the body weight of cow, the body weight of buffalo, the body weight of liver, the dry weight uh, of the uh, dry uh, grasses and the green grasses. Then if you are using your manpower, how to connect it with the performance link engine. You will see it first. This is a miracle. I started five years ago, uh, seven, yes, seven years ago, that uh, how to calculate the body weight of the cow in one minute. And this activity you have to do yearly thrice, hardly yearly thrice. A 150 rupee pay will solve your millions and millions of questions in your business, and your business will go on uh, improving, growing, and sustaining. So, this is one minute activity. The green arrow on this slide will help you to understand uh, when you are sitting at your uh, home or your or in your dairy farm, how to make the body weight of, uh, of the cow. Yes, this is a black figure, it is in inches and the red figure, it is, in, uh, it is the body weight of the cow. This uh, Pune farm on 22nd March, uh, you are looking how to take the body weight of the cow. Very simple method, but not practiced in India. We have to do it. Okay, I'm repeating to make you uh, fully assured that you have to do body weight measurement and this will help, this will uh, increase your efficiency on your farm. Already you are efficient in your dairy farm, but I want to increase your profits. Yes, labor management is a very critical issue in dairy farming and agriculture operations. So uh, this is my farm. I use my own photos. I don't use any social media photos or uh, uh, stolen photos. So this is 28 December photos. Uh, one motorcycle you are having, one trolley you are having, and uh, you are attaching that uh, motorcycle to the trolley. And uh, this uh, dry fodder and green fodder from your farm will be brought to your dairy farm. And you are utilizing your labor very efficiently, and thereby decreasing your uh, expenses on the labor and increasing your profits. That is called a manpower management. Now, ambience. Uh, uh, every family can go to hotels. For that purpose, they are uh, just the first word is what is the ambience. So this is the ambience of your farm. Uh, this is the Lord Krishna, this Yashoda, and this, this ambience. Uh, 
these people who are the visitors and they should pay you to visit your dairy farm. It is also a good income to make a, increase your profit. We have started this in uh, Madurai, we started this in Delhi, we started this in Jaipur, and also we started this in uh, Chittorgan. Right, and presently started this in uh, Bombay also. So this type of ambience on the walls of your dairy farm will uh, tempt, it will be doing temptation to the visitor to give you more money and they will be happy to have a selfie with your cow, to have a selfie with you. So ambience of your dairy project is very important, not chocolate. The most expensive part in dairy farming, why you are in losses? Because in 90% chocolate in India are problematic. They are how problematic we will discuss. So, what are the problems in chapter? What is your capex and what is your working capital? What are the problems? What are the solutions? Yes, the subsidy minded uh, handicap, mentally handicapped uh, uh, system in India has uh, created a lot of problems. So, this uh, left side uh, iron circle, you are seeing it is a subsidy chapter. And what you want is to save your manpower and man hours. So, for that purpose, Understand your investment and output. What, how many cows, how many buffaloes you are having in your farm? What is your daily requirement? How much tons and what is the RPM? Rotations per minute. It is an industry. Every industry understands RPM. Why not dairy farm? Yes. Now, from today, you have to change your mindset and understand first the RPM of your uh, job cutter and what is the output of that. And if you are in losses, Please reduce your losses. So, where I have touched it, you have, you have also uh, uh, touched your chop cutter and check the efficiency of the blade. Second is a uh, lot of maintenance is required, gearbox is there, gear oil is changed. Uh, in Maharashtra, I have seen some finger cut is there. So, these are uh, accidents due to this uh, cheap chop cutter. Blades need a regular sharpen. What are common mistakes uh, in uh, feeding to the cows? I am not taking now, but uh, don't go in cheap chaff cutter and don't waste your uh, expenses or your profit loss in the cheap chaff cutter. Yes, this is the best quality chaff cutter. If you are preparing your own cattle feed, then you should have your good quality chaff cutter. Check this. Uh, again, I repeat when you are earning one rupee. You are spending 65 uh, paisa on green fodder, dry fodder, cattle feed, and concentrates. But then I give you a word of caution. Please prepare your three years planning and cultivation for the energy rich fodders, protein rich fodders. What are your chaff cutters? What are their maintenance problems? What is the investment in uh, uh, good quality chaff cutter? And how to use the manpower efficiently? And how to convert the man hours? of that manpower to increase your profit, right? Yes. Commonly we are knowing the maize, then Napier and then uh, Super Napier and everything we are doing it. We are efficient. We are doing uh, dairy farming from last 20, 30, 40, 50 years. But India is wasting 14,000 crores of rupees per year on India fruit and vegetable waste. Out of that, out of that agro waste and fruit waste, if you use efficiently my lecture, then you will be saving 1,460 rupees per cow per year. I repeat, India is wasting food and vegetable waste on roads, 14,000 crores per year. But at your own level, due to this lecture, today's lecture, you will be saving at least 1,460 rupees per cow per year. So if uh, no farm is less than 10 cows, so from today's uh, lecture, you got a bonus of uh, saving 14,600 rupees on a 10 cow farm. So these are non-conventional resources. And uh, again, I repeat that lot of fruit and vegetable waste we are spending, we are wasting on growth. It is actually the nutrition of the cow and it, it will uh, increase your profit. So, coming to the most important point, which is neglect in India, that is Azola. 
Azula has a 20% protein, 4.58% fat. It has good process of amino acids, and it is very, very, very essential for the dairy farming to increase your profit. Because you can reduce one cow from your dairy farm, you can reduce one buffalo from your farm. But please, please, and please, I am requesting, don't do dairy farming without this Azula. Otherwise, you will gain losses and Agriculture information has invited me to increase your profit. So it is my duty to give you a helpful tip that you should have azolla cultivation and use in your farm. And especially the conception ratio in the cow, the bone load will increase, and you will be very happy due to this azolla. Now, India. India is spending huge livestock in slaughterhouses. Due to this problem, that is repeat period. So I am, uh, I am taking very fast because only 36 minutes are given to me to share my 72 slides. So what are the mistakes before delivery of the cow? Uh, don't uh, mis uh, misunderstand me. Uh, I have worked more in cow, but uh, these are applicable to buffalo also, like of sector. So what are the mistakes before the delivery of the animal? What are the mistakes during delivery of the animal? What are the mistakes after delivery of the animal? And what are mistakes of the bull or the water mistakes of the semen? So you have to take in account all these mistakes and reduce your losses and increase your profit. Now, my status. I have worked in export for eight years and nobody in the world is uh, um, ready to uh, consume the milk and milk products from India. Why? Already Indian farmers spent 7,150 crores of rupees per year for treatment of this disease, right? Secondly, the, we are losing global market, European market, American market, Japan market, Saudi Arabia market, only due to this and this disease. So what are the reasons? I'm not going in detail. I will just tell you the solution. Yes. This is the solution, uh, 50 ml of uh, this uh, iodine and 150 ml of general water. You dip the heat in this uh, uh, deep cup and uh, reduce your expenses. As a general farmer, every farmer is losing 3,000 rupees per cow per year due to this disease. So forget 7,000 crores loss of India. You please be aware that you should not lose 3,000 rupees per cow per year due to this disease. So this is a matter of hardly 300 or 400, 400 rupees, right? So be efficient in dairy farming and increase your profit. Saving is earning. So if you save your money, it is also type of farming. Yes. Uh, this disease is prevalent or this disease is coming on your farm. You have to be very cautious. It is a just a matter of five minutes every three weeks. This is the illiterate farmer. I am an advisor for corporate social responsibility project in Pune, Cummings India Foundation. And we teach illiterate people, illiterate lady, self-help group lady to perform this test. And they are very happy. They are very happy that their expenses on the disease has been reduced. So you can do, again I repeat, this is one method to be done daily, and this is second method uh, to save your expenses. This is to be done. Every animal requires only and only five minutes every three days. Now, calf to cow. Uh, in uh, India, HF and Jersey, they are, these cows become pregnant, these are, sorry, these heifer become pregnant at the age of 10 months. But uh, these goshalas and the uh, buffalo farm are facing huge uh, culling rate uh, due to this uh, problem. So 18 to 21 months of age, the buffalo and the heifer of the Indian breeds, they should become pregnant and 21 months, they should deliver the cow. Then and then on the earth, uh, uh, then this dairy farming will be successful. Profitability. I have seen thousands of goshalas in half of India. They are suffering 36 lakhs of losses. I repeat, repeat, 36 lakhs rupees losses in a, a goshala of uh, 500 to 700 cows. So today's lecture will be helpful for them to reduce their losses. Yes, they are. Uh, just a minute. Uh, this is one of the farm 
and the uh, the hefe was kept in such a condition so waste management should not be our example we should keep them at a very good place Can you listen me? Yes, we can hear you. Please proceed. So, what are the testing to be done? That is blood. Stool, urine, water, soil, and DNA karyotype. Now, water and soil testing. This is most neglected part in India, but for efficient and dairy farming, profitable dairy farming, you should check the quality of water, quality of your soil. Because I was in Hyderabad, I was in Telangana, I was in Rajamundry, I was in Nizambad. I have seen the examples of copper and cobalt for what deficiency in. Uh, Telangana state and Andhra Pradesh. In Maharashtra, in Maharashtra there is a lot of problem about about the uh, less milk from the cow. So what is to be done? You have to do the water and soil testing and uh, correct the factors which are decreasing the milk of your cow. Right? Now check design. The shed design should be so, such a proper that proper ventilation, portability, uh, the cow should be uh, having a good system of food housing system, and most important, your labor dependency should be less. We have created this shed in uh, Thane near, uh, Madura, near Madurai in Tamil Nadu. And this Said is best example of best example of lowest manpower required in, uh, in a dairy farming. So this is an example first in my life that in such a low cost and in such a portable model, this dairy farm was uh, successful in reducing their manpower and increasing the man uh, increasing the efficiency of their dairy farm. Now Ayurveda, just. Uh, Ayurveda. Uh, from last 5,000 years, we are uh, knowing uh, 850 or 4,000 uh, of uh, biodiversity in our and in our nearby 50 kilometers. So out of that, you have to use only 80 plants for your uh, treatment of the animal. That is called a Pashu Ayurveda. And this Ayurveda will help you to reduce your uh, costing on dairy farming. And saving of at least two thousand to three thousand rupees per cow per year. Pashu homeopathy. Pashu homeopathy. Uh, in Corona, we started using homeopathy, right? So, regarding homeopathy, there are uh, near about you are you are looking this uh, bottles. So these are homeopathy bottles, commonly required for a 10 cow farm. 21 uh, to 35 bottles. This is for example, Sina. This Sina is used for uh, uh, deworming of the animals. This Naxomica, it is used for digestive problems. Right. So this is Carbovate, it is used for acidity of the animals. Calendula, any type of wound to the animal, you need not uh, call the uh, anybody outside the farm. You can save 300 to 5,000 uh, rupees per cow per year. I will just tell you an example near Bangalore. Uh, I am running that Goshala from three years. Uh, every time the uh, visitor used to take 2,000 rupees. Now, the expenses of that dairy farm, that Goshala, has reduced from 10,000 rupees per year to 400 rupees per cow per year. So that Goshala at Madanpalli near Tirupati has saved per cow per year 9,000 rupees due to my uh, uh, mentoring. 
this is list of homeopathic medicines which uh, you should be you should keep in your dairy uh, dairy farm or goshala and solve your 90 60 to 70% problem at your level it is very easy what are the services required on your farm online audit physical audit your farm should be at least one uh, monitor mentored for at least one year and it should be in the, on the basis of techno commercial feeding cost the most expensive part is feeding cost and it should be controlled i am very happy that non conventional feed resources 20000 rupees per month we have saved due to this uh, banana uh, use of banana leaf in dairy farming at uh, teni low cost shed designs especially for pre startup and startup in dairy farming in case of goshala desi calf and the buffalo farms the default to uh, animal that is adult animal it should be taken care of laboratory services should be properly used mobile app should be properly used and pashu ayurveda and pashu homeopathy it will save your thousands and thousands of rupees per animal per year hello hello i have tried to uh, finish all these uh, 63 slides in 36 minutes which you have given to me okay so you have completed yeah okay yeah just give me one second i'll uh, check Okay, so the first question is, yeah. today what are some new trends happening in dairy farming? Pardon, today, what are some new trends happening in dairy farming? Yes, the uh, ecotourism, it is developing in uh, dairy farming. Secondly, corporate meetings are arranged on the dairy farms. Thirdly, the spa, uh, three-star hotel, five-star hotel, seven-star hotel, they arrange the spa system. And some dairy farms are arranging the spa on their farm. And most important, the cow dung and cow urine business. It is, uh, good, it is a good trend in India. Especially in Germany, you will uh, check that uh, the cow dung cakes are, invited, uh, are imported from India for uh, this, uh, reducing the four-wheeler uh, emission, methane emission. Uh, carbon dioxide emission, CH4 emission. So reducing the automobile uh, emission, they are doing the Agni Mutra. And for that purpose, in India, Japan, Germany, and USA, they are inviting. There is a good scope to the, uh, increase your profits by selling the final product from cow urine, uh, hand wash for Corona, and this uh, cow tourism in India, and this uh, cow dung for uh, reducing the automobile industry. Uh, fuel emissions. So there is good scope now for profitable uh, dairy farm. Okay. Next question is, yeah. what advice do you have for setting up a profitable dairy farm with desi cows? Uh, desi cows, you told or dairy cows? Desi cows. Desi cows, yes. From last uh, seven years, uh, my uh, experience is that people are asking for in, uh, Indian cow milk, A2 milk. So, right. So, for that purpose, any person who is entering the dairy farming, uh, especially desi dairy farming, then, or Goshala uh, farm, he should first take proper training, uh, visit some uh, recommended farms, uh, visit some recommended uh, Goshala, which are advised by us. Then have a Excel sheet schedule of 12 months, uh, 12 weeks. Then purchase the cows from proper places. Don't play, play don't do any gambling in share construction, particularly. Uh, one person from uh, Indo, he has uh, constructed a share of 16 lakhs rupees. I said, Who told you to invest 16 lakhs in only share? So these are do's and don'ts in dairy farming. 
but there is very 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 good scope as far as the uh, medical aware upper middle class society in metro city is concerned you have good scope to take a proper mentor take a uh, charge of farm and run it profitably and run it efficiently okay next question is yeah which is the best place to buy desi cows a uh, very tricky question and very uh, again gambling question but uh, unfortunately documentation is very less in india and so um, you have to be very critical when purchasing the any livestock and there are apps are there there are bazaar hats are there pashudan are there but uh, i cannot recommend in last 32 years a particular person or a place to purchase animals you have to go there uh have one to one interaction with that uh, owners don't purchase from markets please don't purchase from markets there is lot of cheating lot of mischief and lot of uh, painful experiences are there while purchasing from markets please trust anyone or please trust any uh, particular seller but he should not be a middleman he should be a the breeder please understand the difference between trader and breeder there are a mushrooming of traders in india now especially this life of sector but you trust the breeders the breeders uh, they are very careful about their product about their life stuff and about the uh, products which they have sold to you traders uh, most of the time traders are cheaters they are mischief playing the mischief with you and the project uh, fails in one or two years i am talking very openly okay any more yeah next question how to select right type of dairy cows to buy selection of the animals is critical again because the pedigree details in india you get the pedigree details of the uh, dog but in in case of animals are concerned the documentation is very less so we get very less pedigree details you have to trust the pedigree details of that uh, farm who is the mother who is the father who is the mother of that father that is uh, you know you are uh, very aware of that pedigree details are to be asked for then lactation for um, for uh, the the milk yield for lactation in india there is a language problem what is the language how much liters per day the cow or buffalo will give for example you are asking for a 30 liters cow but when it may be 30 liters in front of you when you are purchasing the cow but you are playing with the fire like the cow will make you milk for 2 months and then it start to drink so you the purchasing uh, skill of, during the buying should be that how much liters of milk will the cow or buffalo will give in one lactation it may be 1500 then you are surely in losses if it is 2000 liters yes you are in no loss no profit if you get the animal of 2500 liters yes you will be in profit that should be your technical language when purchasing that Okay, one second. Okay next question is Yes Please tell us about yourself and your career and what gave you the inspiration to become a consultant in dairy sector 
yes i am happy to that you asked this question uh, i have completed my post graduation in parbhani at 94 i was selected by israel government in 97 so that it changed my mindset that herd management is the future in india one cow two cow five cow still we have a landless labor or uh, such a sector in india that working they are working on five to 10 cow but the day by day the investors are coming in uh, this industry and they are uh, demanding for 100 cow farm 200 cow farm 500 cow farm the goshalas they are 1000 2000 3000 8000 uh, animals are there in goshala so i wanted to improve my skills that israel training helped me secondly 2000 to 2008 i worked in export dairy uh, at uh, in maharashtra and it gave me wide exposure of wide exposure of global market so milk and milk products export i have faced the audits of japan and germany and usa and then uh, nestle company and everything which what are the possible causes of rejection global rejection and how to overcome it and how to increase our uh, exports i have done that from 2000 to 9 uh, 12 2009 to 12 i have worked in buffalo farming and i have seen lot of buffalo small buffalo are going to plot houses due to uh, non efficient uh, dairy farm that is a uh, mismanagement so i developed myself in buffalo sector and uh, reduced uh, 30 to 40% percent animal going to plot houses particularly in hyderabad uh, from 2015 I worked in cattle feed industry. The most expensive part in any dairy industry is the cattle feed, and or the cakes, the cross uh, and cons and quality and quantity and the uh, animal is a dumb animal is dumb. It can't it 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 doesn't have voice. It is voiceless animal. Uh, animal is always voiceless. But the uh, owner he should think if he wants he if he wants to do the business. then he should understand the feeding pattern and i was selling 10000 metric tons of cattle feed per month in uh, my career and i was supporting 52 marketing people i was concerned with dairy farms i was concerned with dairy society and i was happy that i was reducing the expenses on feeding of the farm simultaneously the profits of the dairy farmers was increasing due to my services and again it happened a good opportunity for me that 2015 one uh, uh, media channel has uh, um, interviewed my uh, lecture it was seven hours lecture in english and five hours lecture in hindi uh, and afterwards it was uh, seen by in globally by 3 lakh 47 thousand people and from 2017 i am getting phone from pan india that they need to decrease the cost of the dairy farm and they want to increase the profits of the farm presently i am handling uh, farms uh, from himachal to tamil nadu in nine states and uh, five goshalas they are very happy with the cost cutting i am not uh, giving you any rosy picture that everything is a profit i know when profit will appear on your farm but let us try to start with uh, cost cutting at least cost cutting with efficient management and then efficient management of dairy farming will convert to profitable management for that purpose on this 32 years experience i have prepared one app that is called as somkar cow and people need not contact me for uh, small questions they can uh, there are 32 common problems in your dairy farm you can just uh, uh download the, the ppt presentation in that app and uh, as per your free time you can uh, convert my knowledge into your business especially you can start with cost cutting income generation may be slowly but surely it's a sustainable and uh, continuous growth when you start my knowledge okay okay next question is from mr mohan Uh, what's the best economical size of farm with number of cows and buffaloes and uh, what's the approximate cost of the project yeah uh, uh one bottom line i will explain customer is the king so if you are near to a metro city buffalo farming is good 
if you are near to uh, metro city then uh, indian commerce can give you good market so project side depends on your strength weakness opportunity can trade analyst please refer to agriculture industry uh, dot com my uh, interview that is my print uh, article in 2014 they have given what is your slow analysis so i am i will explain you that the cost of the cow or buffalo cost of the state for example uh, 60 to 80000 rupees is the general cost of the animal 150000 is your cost for uh, uh, shed um, 2 lakhs 3 lakhs is your uh, working capital so you can start a small cow uh, small farm of 10 to 15 animals in 15 lakhs of rupees so market is ruling your pocket your industry so please and have a market study and competitor analysis first and then after one or two months please come to me with pen pencil diary calculator highlighter pencil uh, rubber in your hand then i will send you a bankable project report and non bankable project report for your immediate question i am answering you 50 10 to 15 lakh is sufficient to start it and go from but please study your market okay yeah and next question is okay what have been your major achievements over the years yes uh i am fighting for a national cause that is uh, the multi specialty hospitals they are rising in india like a uh, at a very higher speed and the antibiotics 35 antibiotics used in uh, hospitals are not working on the patient and either the patient is losing his life or uh, the uh, bills of hospitals are more than 10 lakhs to recruit in last 20 lakhs so what i have done in last 7 years is that the treatment to the cows or the buffaloes it is reduced near by 7 60 to 70% on my uh, plants farm and that were though the percentage is very less but the awareness due to my videos and youtube and social media and facebook and telegram and pinterest and twitter that the consumer is less aware but the producer the producer i am making him aware that giving uh, giving ayurveda and homeopathy to your uh, livestock will make the uh, the milk and milk products safe to the human population consume safe uh, clean and safe milk products and we will start achieving the uh, our percentage in global market at least forget this global market now but the milk and milk product what our cabinet minister in, in told in 60 years ago 86% milk in india is adulterated and non consumable right so i am trying my work is one man army but i am trying to reduce the uh, sorry i should otherwise say i am increasing the ayurveda and homeopathy i have given you mother for the example they were spending 2000 rupees per cow per year, um, per year. i have reduced their expenses on 400 rupees so 80% saving i have done at many places in india especially we are giving education to 8 and 9 standard students and they are coming to our farms they are coming to our goshalas and they are um, giving they are getting the first hand information knowledge about the uh, ethical and professional livestock management okay and now we have the last question yes. what are some difficult decisions you have made in dairy consultation uh, difficult decisions decisions yes what are some difficult decisions you have made in dairy consultation yes first thing is changing the mindset of the livestock owners because from last 30 to 50 100 years they are rearing the livestock and it is very difficult to make them aware that it is a business you are giving dry fodder green fodder and the economics of that particular enterprise order from your own farm but it should be counted in the project report or in your uh, profit loss statement it is very difficult secondly uh, automobile industry mobile industry or any any industry they are having consultants 
in india having a consultant for a goshala or a dairy farm it is uh, very difficult to digest uh, for the life of owner when i started uh, when i first got a call from 2017 in delhi that uh, we want your yearly consultancy i was very happy that yes somebody is converting my knowledge into fitness so changing the mindset of the life of owners for the knowledge for the products they will sell and they will give you thousands of rupees thousands of rupees they are doing gambling in purchasing the animal thousands of rupees they are doing the gambling in construction of the shed thousands of rupees lakhs of rupees per year construction so it is very difficult decision for me to ask money that to in advance for giving the consultancy so slow by slow due to this uh, youtube my hindi youtube uh, two two hindi youtube in last five months they were seen by 47000 people i am very happy and every third day every one per i am getting one call sir what is your fees that i wasted i have invested my 32 years of life to convert the mindset of the last of owner to please do a business not as a emotion convert your passion into profession take help of professional take help of print media take help of a good uh, uh, media and don't waste your 1.5 gb data on just whatsapp university telegram university facebook university be specific don't uh, be rely on only information okay? be specific on knowledge and that that is very difficult even i am facing now also how to convince that knowledge is to be paid that is very difficult especially in indian system when you go for western countries they will pay you in advance but in indian system it is a high level of mental block of the life of owners to pay for the knowledge okay Okay, Dr. Prashant Yogi, I don't see any more questions from our participants. Yeah. So now we have come to end of question round. Yeah. On uh, behalf of agriculturinformation.com, we'd like to thank you for a very detailed presentation answering all the questions in depth. And we also like to thank all the participants for joining this meeting. The meeting will now be closed. Hello. Hello. Yes, Dr. Prashant. Yeah, I would like to thank uh, your team for arranging my lecture and giving me a national or international platform. and very happy to have uh, sharing with you thank you you are most welcome sir thank you